So stay tuned guys, and we're gonna show you how the foil quill heat pens in the Cricut did this. And also my newest cutie want to be part of the project today. So stay tuned. Okay guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the foil quill heat pens. In this kit, this is everything you get in the kit. You get all three pens and you get some foil and the adapters you need and some um, washi tape here that you'll need to use to tape down the foil. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've already selected, I'm gonna use the standard tip one, which is your um, mint collar one, I guess is what you wanna call this. And you plug this into the side of your maker, if you have a maker, um, or it goes into any kind of USB powered um, port that's at least a five watt, I believe it said. So we'll put it in there. And this should light up, it shows you have power. There we go, so yes, it lights up here. And what you do, it takes five minutes to warm. So we'll look at the instruction manual. I think for the Cricut, we will need, yeah, so the A one stands for the silhouette, B is for brother, C is for Cricut, and D is for Sizzix. Pretty cool. So let's get our C one out. And you will just screw it onto it. And this will just fit it then into your Cricut um, pin slot. So we can, um, I'll show you how to load that here in a moment. And that's pretty much it. You just gotta, gotta wait a good five minutes. So it's good to start a timer or look at the time when you plugged it in. So, and we're also gonna use the, let's see. We'll open this. We'll use the copper collar. This is also a heat shield to put underneath your um, machine here, it shows. Um, not sure why you would use the heat shield. But, hmm. Maybe while you uh, get the machine ready to go. But here's your washi tape, which you can use any kind, but it's nice to give you some. You just want a low tack tape when you use this to tape down your project. So let's get our project ready to go and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so to remove out your Cricut attachment for your pins, you just push up from the bottom. It's kind of hard sometimes, but it pops out. And then you'll just drop in this and you just shut it down on that. And then you just run your cable back here on the back side of your Cricut machine so it's not getting in the way. So that's how you do that. Okay, so we're going to do a ready-made project that I already have. Oh, that's my last project. So I like doing the birthday cards. That's one of the biggest cards I make uh, all the time. So we're going to hit customize, make sure everything's okay, which it should be. Replace. Now, I don't like doing the white cutouts here on the birthday card. So I'll show you guys how to, if you ever want to like hide something not to cut, go to uh, layers. And then here they are and you'll just hit the eye down here and that hides them and it won't cut these white pieces because I don't, I never have used them. I don't see the point for me. All right, so that's all those. So then we're ready to make it. So go to make it. We're gonna need our three mats here. This is gonna be your envelope. The next one is your back um, piece for your um, card. And this is the front of the card and this is where the writing is, and we're gonna use the writing, we're gonna use the foil quill to do the writing on this, to add the, um, the foiling. So we'll get this to cut, and I'll show you guys how it's writing when it starts the writing process, okay? Okay guys, so here we got the cardstock down. I've already taped my foil down to my cardstock. How I try to estimate where I need to put it at. If you look here on the mat, which I know it's probably hard to show up here, but in person you can see it. The writing starts at right about the seven inch mark on your mat. So right here is the seven, and it goes down to about the eight. So seven and eight's right here. So we're within that area. And then this way down, it goes to about the five, little over the five inch line, which this line here goes almost to the six inch line. So I'm hoping that we I've estimated all this correctly. So we will find out. 
and you'll load it's saying the pin but remember we're using the foil so i've already loaded the foil quill um pin into the clamp and then we're also going to do the scoring wheel to do all the scoring and i'll show you how it's riding All right, guys, are you ready for the big reveal? So what I did do, um, I didn't show this on camera, but I was kind of afraid, if you remember, my um, foil went way up to here. I didn't want it trying to cut some of these intricate parts through the foil. So after I got on writing, I just took my um, Cricut uh, knife here and I just barely put any pressure on because this stuff's very thin and cut across there and pull that off while it was cutting up in this area. I just did that to be a precaution. You probably don't have to do that. I just did it because I've never used this before, so I wasn't sure what it would do. So, and as you see here, the Cricut card already cut through on these sides. So we can definitely take this one out. And this one can come off. And that turned out amazing. Amazing. So I've already done a video on how to assemble this birthday card. So I will do this off camera, but I want to show you how well it turned out there. Hope the light's reflecting off of it. But I'm going to put it together and then I'll do a real quick follow-up video of how it all looks put together. All right. Okay, you guys ready for the finished product. So this is how my birthday cards I do typically. So I just stamp it with happy birthday to you. And then you open it and there is the foiling. I love the touch it gives. I wish I would have used these sooner. I've had these for several months, maybe almost a year. That's why they didn't have the box still, but I had never even taken the twist ties off as you've seen in the beginning of the video. And I really like the uh, copper tone one. And also Hobby Lobby does sell uh, the foil quill brand um, foil sheets. So you can always go there and look for some too. And they come in huge sheets too, if you want to buy the big bulk ones. But I hope you guys um, enjoyed doing this video. Like I said, if you want to know how to put this card together, the card is uh, in design space, but I did do a video a long time ago, probably a year or so ago, on how to assemble. And that's in my um, videos. I just got to search through there. Um, so that's why I didn't show that on the camera because I didn't feel like it'd be repetitive. But um, this is practically the birthday cards I send out to all my friends and family that I send birthday cards to. But now I like that I can add the foiling to it. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also check the description for a lot of fun links in there and for people I like to also help support. And there'll be a few um, supplies links in there. I always recommend for paper crafts, the Arts Glitter Glue. So that's in there too. You can only get it during spring and summer times because um, it does have a, a restriction for the temperature to ship. So rem remember that when you're seeing this video, if it's cold outside, you probably can't order it yet. So, until the next video, you guys, bye.